Good morning, good afternoon or good evening wherever you might be watching. Welcome to this video which will describe how you can use trendline analysis in Microsoft Excel. Here I've created a chart for the sales of various uh, kilograms of fruit over a six monthly period. Uh, all I did of course was to select the data with my mouse and then I inserted a column chart thus. So nice and easy, there's my chart. Incidentally, uh, just a little tip here, if you want to create a chart on its own sheet, you'll notice that this chart is what we call embedded with the data, but if I select the data and press the F11 key, I'm given a chart on its own worksheet. So uh, there's a little tip for you. And also I see it's created the sheet down here, called it Chart 1. So there's a little tip. Back in Sheet 1, we'll, we'll use this chart. And what I want to do is to see the trend in the sales, for example, of oranges. Uh, what is the trend? Well, it's quite simple to use. I point at the series for the oranges and right click and then I click Add Trend Line. Up pops the Add Trend Line button, add, uh, window I'm sorry, and I see that it defaults to linear, in other words it's a straight line as we see, and we will look shortly at this area down the bottom here. So we will now close that, and there is my trend line. Obviously it will be handy if the trend line was the same colour as the uh, series itself. So I'm going to carefully right click and format trend line. And I'll say line colour for a solid line. And I want it to be that blue that we used there. So close again. And there I see my trend line is in the same colour as the actual series. The reason I might want to do that is because if I have more than one trend line, for example, this one here, add a trend line, this is for the apples, we'll use the linear trend line again, close, and there's my trend line, it looks pretty similar to this one here, so what I'm going to do is to carefully right click, format the trend line, go to line colour, solid line and change the colour in there to the um, colour up, up here that we used in the series. So close. Now I see much more easily the, uh, the trend, uh, trend line colours. And I can relate them much more easily now to the series. Now I'm just going to delete these two trend lines because I like to show you I click carefully there. I'd like to show you what happens at the bottom and the reason that we should be aware of what happens when I add a trend line and I look down here because I don't need to understand the mathematics of what's happening down here but I do want to see what it means when I say display R squared value on the chart and I'm going to ask Excel to project out two periods, that is two months, because I'm looking at months up here, in my trend line. So let's, let's see what happens. There's a number. The R squared value is 0.8777. And if the sales of oranges continues on at the same rate that it has previously, then in two periods time, that is by the end of July, August, then I should be selling that many kilograms of oranges. So from a sales analysis point of view, trend lines are very handy. However, let's consider whether or not that trend line is as accurate as it can be. So I'm going to right click again and add another trend line for the same series. But this time I'm going to use a exponential trend line, one that curves. 
I still want to go out two series and I want to display the R squared value on the chart and let's see what happens okay there is a different endpoint for the uh, particular trend line that I added but if I look at the two numbers I see that one of the numbers is closer to the number one so the closer the R squared value is to the number one the more accurate is the trend line so that's how trend lines work nothing difficult about them remember to right click on a series add a trend line you can project out for a number of periods um, and, and analyze the uh, information uh, particularly from a sales point of view and budgets trend lines are very handy in those areas so thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe unless you've already done so and uh, see you next time